Hello students. Today we are going to see uh, the third chapter of geography that is the natural resources, natural relation and wildlife. Already we have learnt about the natural resources. Now today we are going to learn particularly about the natural vegetation and the wildlife. Okay, so uh, first I would like to tell you about the natural vegetation. So what is the natural vegetation? Actually the natural vegetation is what? That plants or trees which grow naturally. That means what? Without any interference or a little bit inter interference by the human beings. So that type of vegetation is called as a natural vegetation. So that is what which is controlled, completely controlled by the physical uh, environment. Like climate means the climatic conditions of that area and the relief features. Relief features that means what? What are the landforms? Whether that landform is a plain, plateau, then mountainous means. Uh, what the height it is there of that area okay so all that things are responsible for the growth of the natural vegetation so both the natural vegetation and the wildlife are the greatest resources on the earth okay that are the natural resources for example plants that plants which gives us uh, wood that can be used as a timber or a firewood okay and the other uses of the plants are as follows like oxygen means plants uses oxygen which is very much essential for all sorts of life then the second is that plants protects the soil from getting eroded that means the roots of the trees hold the land or the soil and due to that the wind and rain whatever cannot easily erode the soil then the third is what that plants provide the natural shelter for the wild animals okay as we know that wild animals used to live in the forest then the fourth is what the storage of underground water that means what the uh, trees helps to sip the rain water into the ground and due to that the ground water level can be increased then the five we get the varieties of products that is timber rubber and resins etc so these are what the uses of the plants then different types of plants and animals living together in an area make a make a biome so when the different types of plants and animals live together in a particular area then that make a or form a biome a biome can consist all ecosystems like land that means what the terrestrial or as well as in water that means aquatic so this type of ecosystems can be consist with the biome then now we are moving towards our next point that is the distribution of natural vegetation so the natural vegetation is also distributed that is how it is distributed we are going to see now the temperature and the moisture are the two main factors affect on the growth of the vegetation as we know that for the growth of the plants the uh, which is very essential that is the uh, sunlight okay and the next is a uh, rain water or a water we can say okay so both this temperature and moisture really very really affect on the growth of the uh, plants or the vegetations then the major types of vegetations are forests grasslands and shrubs so some important types of forest now we are going to see particularly about the forest in this point now the first type of forest is what the tropical evergreen forest tropical evergreen forest okay so by the word evergreen we can get to know that 
these type of forest remain green throughout the year so that type of forest found in the excessive rainfall area wherever the rainfall is in a high excessive okay and which are close to equator if you see the globe okay then you will find that the equator that line which divides the earth into two equal parts so that is what that area which is close to the equator where that equator receives the excessive rainfall why because of that high temperature the weather remains hot and dry hot and dry and wet throughout the year okay hot and wet throughout the year so the trees grow in a compact manner so what are the the every day you will find that there is a rainfall okay and so the trees grow in a very compact manner and form a tree cover just like a thick canopy okay it is a cover over the uh, earth so because of that the sun rays hardly reach to the earth so it does not allow the sunshine to reach the ground and it consists the trees like cinchona rubber ebony rosewood mahogany etc so these are that types of the trees which you can find in the tropical evergreen forest mainly these forest found in amazon basin of south america and also found in malaysia in south east asia ports of philippines and zaire basin in africa so these are that area on the earth where you can found such type of forest in amazon basin it is also called as a selvas so this is how the tropical evergreen forests are there the next point is what tropical monsoon forest so by the word monsoon we can get understand because india is also having a monsoon type of climatic conditions okay so what are these forest we are going to see that this forest found in the tropical areas where there is a monsoon type of climate with seasonal dry and wet spell so here in our country we also experience the same kind of climatic conditions so that is mainly located in means this type of forest you can found in indian subcontinent eastern africa sri lanka north eastern australia and south eastern usa the trees grow apart so in the tropical evergreen forest what we have seen that the trees grow in a very compact manner thickly grow but here in a no, tropical monsoon forest the trees grow apart from each other means what there a space in between the trees so they uh, that forests are easily accessible but that accessibility we cannot found with the tropical evergreen forest because they grow in a compact so uh, it consists means what type of trees you can found here that is eucalyptus sandalwood sal bamboo and teak these are the trees which grow here now the next type that is the temperate evergreen forest so these temperate evergreen forests are found in warm temperate areas wherever the warm temperate areas are there that is south eastern brazil southern japan southern china parts of south eastern usa and south eastern australia so these are that areas which comprise with these forest the trees like walnut pine oak and mulberry are found here these are the main types of trees okay 
so here also the word evergreen it is there so they remain green throughout the year then the next type that is the mediterranean forest so that this mediterranean forest develop in the climate like dry summers and warm winter wet winter which are created by the mediterranean sea the tree which grow here that grow apart from each other and thus grow with the medium height and remain evergreen throughout the year okay so these type of trees also remain green throughout the year the height of this tree is medium and they are located in italy uh, spain israel southern france turkey central chile california in usa and southwestern australia the trees here are cedar pine olive oak and citrus fruits like orange lemon grapefruits this type of trees grow here okay so here we are going to stop the remaining part we'll see in the next lecture thank you